a uniquely armored ankylosaur from early Cretaceous Australia, bearer of one of the shortest names ever given to a dinosaur ever. This is the Minmi. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Dinosaur Channel. This is your home on the internet for all things dinosaur and prehistoric. I'm your host, Tal, and today we're going to be giving you guys a quick dive on the Minmi. But before we jump into that, make sure that you leave us a dino-sized thumbs up or comment down below your favorite dinosaur or prehistoric animal. Also, subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single episode from this dinosaur quick dive series. You can also become a member on our channel by joining the channel, and you can unlock cool icons and emojis that you will use when interacting with us on this YouTube channel. And with that being said, let's jump into everything you need to know on the Minmi. So what does Minmi actually mean? Well, this dinosaur was named after Minmi Crossing, which was near the place where it was discovered. In 1980, Ralph E. Molinar named and described the type species as Minmi, paravertebra. Paravertebra refers to the tiny bony rods found along its backbone. And fun fact, the Minmi once had the shortest dinosaur name, a title held onto for 24 years until the naming of May in 2004. Now the dinosaur names are even shorter with that, with 2015 naming the genus Yi. So where and when did Minmi live? The Minmi lived in what is now Queensland, Australia during the early Cretaceous around 133 to 120 million years ago. The holotype was discovered in a layer of the Bungil formation near Minmi Crossing in Queensland, Australia. It was discovered by Dr. Alan Grant. No, that was a joke, not Dr. Alan Grant. It was discovered by Dr. Alan Bartholomew, paleontologist and former director of the Queensland Museum. So what did the Minmi actually look like? Well, the Minmi was a very small ankylosaur, as you can see. So it was an armored quadruped dinosaur. It had a bulky body and an unusually small head with a beak-like mouth and longer limbs compared to other ankylosaurs. The Minmi was estimated to have grown up to 9.8 feet or three meters long and weighed about 660 pounds or 300 kilograms. The Minmi was covered in armor and had a variety of different sized armor osteoderms, scutes or bony armor plates that ran across its back. So you wanna know what a scoot is? Well, it's a bony scale or plate overlaid with horn. Think of turtle shells or crocodile skin and the feet of birds. These scoots were present on the Minmi's neck, head, shoulders, and hips. Note that these are all vulnerable areas that predators usually target to make a quick kill. The Minmi also had a belly armor, something that was absent in most of the ankylosaurs and related stegosaurs. And for the thing that gave the Minmi its name, it had thin bony rods called paravertebrae or ossified hardened tendons along its spine that may have provided extra attachment for back muscles. The paravertebrae were similar to the bony structures found in crocodiles and strengthened and supported the back during high walk or when crocs lift its body off the ground instead of crawling on its belly. So did Minmi ever actually get famous? Well, I think the Minmi wasn't really mentioned often enough in popular culture for it to be called famous in any context. But the Minmi did appear in the TV series Dinosaur King. It also appeared in the 1999 documentary series When Dinosaurs Ruled. And in the Jurassic franchise, this animal can be seen on the video games Jurassic Park 3 Park Builder, as well as Jurassic World Evolution 2. It also has its own action figure as part of the toy line for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Can be seen right yay. So now let's talk about the Minmi's diet and behavior. Like all ankylosaurs, the Minmi was an herbivore or a plant eater. A scientific paper that was published in 2000 by Ralph E. Molnar and Harold Traver Clifford found that the Minmi was a low browser and grazer and its diet consisted of plants that grew low to the ground. In another study, preserved gut contents or cololites in Conobarosaurus, a species closely related to the Minmi, showed signs of being cleanly cut in very small sections. The creature may have cut its food with serrated cheeks teeth after nipping the vegetation off with its beak. This had helped confirm that the theory that armored dinosaurs like the Minmi relied upon processing their food in their mouths rather than using gastroliths or swallowed stones to process the food for them, very similar to a lot of larger herbivores who used to swallow those stones or gastroliths to help aid in digestion of that herbivorous material. So since the Minmi was an herbivore, before, it probably wasn't an aggressive animal. Its body armor was its main protection against predators, and it would have been difficult to bite past those spikes and plates. This creature also probably used its long limbs to quickly search for cover when threatened. The extra muscle power from its back, along with its comparatively long legs, may have made the Minmi a speedy runner. And that, my friends, is an episode all about this amazingly cute Minmi. Minmi is like this little bundle of joy of an ankylosaur. Like, everybody likes to think and talk about little baby Bumpy from a Jurassic World Camp and he's all adorable, but Baby Bumpy eventually turned into a large ankylosaur. Minmi is like one of those dinosaurs that if we were able to clone dinosaurs in the future, we gotta clone Minmi, so everybody's got a little pet Minmi. What, is it gonna grow the size of like a Mini Cooper? Probably a little smaller than that even. You know, it's not a big dinosaur 
totally manageable to have in your backyard. Have an amazing time with your Mini. It's probably super chill. Oh, I would love to have a pet Minmi. Give me 10 of them. Also, have you seen the Jurassic World Evolution 2 depiction of Minmi? It's like even cuter than you can imagine there. I do want to remind you guys to subscribe and turn those notifications so you don't miss a single dinosaur quick dive or prehistoric quick dive that we do on this channel in the future. We're going to be covering every single animal that's involved in the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World franchise. Also, leave us a dinosaur-sized thumbs up and comment down below a dinosaur prehistoric creature you would like to see us cover in the future. You can also support Support this channel by sending us some money on our PayPal link down below in the description or joining the channel and becoming a member where you'll unlock cool icons and emojis you can use when commenting and interacting on our channel in the future. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye!